So there you see guys, the ROM has been installed successfully. So I'll quickly go to settings just to verify everything. So here we can see it says Android version 10. So it has December security patch and Android is 10. So this is so cool guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another great and exciting video. And today I am back with my this beloved device, Mi A2. And guess what we are going to do today? We are going to install the latest Android 10 on this Mi A2 device. So for that we have some prerequisite, which is your Mi A2 should have an unlocked bootloader and you are ready to install TWRP in your device. So if you are okay with this, then please carry on and in case if you don't know how to unlock your bootloader or install TWRP, see the i button above in order to know as I have already made a video on that. So let's quickly get started and we move to the settings and what you have to do here is you have to enable the USB debugging option by going into the developer mode. So in case if you do not know how to do it, I will tell you, you have to go to the about phone then then click 8 times on the build number so as i am already a developer it says no need you are already a developer but just in case if you are not then you have to click it 8 times and become a developer and once you become a developer you have to go to system then advanced and here you have to go to developer option make sure it's enabled make sure the oem unlocking is enabled as well as debugging through USB should be enabled. So now once all these things are done, we are good to go to the desktop where we have to use three files in order to flash Android 10. So I will now switch to laptop and show you all those stuffs. So guys, I am now on my laptop and here are the bunch of files which we need in order to flash Android 10 in Mi A2. So first one is the pixel experience ROM itself which is an Android 10 based ROM which we need to flash in our Mi A2. Second one is the platform tools which contains the ADB and the fast boot binary files which we need to flash the TWRP in our Mi A2. And third one is the TWRP file itself which we will use in order to flash the Mi A2 Android 10 ROM. So out of these three files, this pixel experience zip file which is the actual ROM we have to copy in the internal storage of our Mi A2. So I'll connect the Mi A2 through USB cable and we'll copy this file. So this is the internal storage and we'll copy the ROM file in the internal storage directly. So now the file copy has been completed. And now we have to restart our Mi A2 device in download mode so that we can flash the TWRP file which I have shown you earlier. So to log in into fast boot mode, first we have to switch off the device. So I'll power off. And then we have to press this volume down button and the power button together for some time. Till the fast boot logo appears. So here you can see, now it's in fast boot mode. So now we have connected our Mi A2 in download mode or you can say fast boot mode to our PC. And now we have to extract this file which has all the ADB and fast boot binary files in order to flash TWRP. So we will go to this folder and here we will open a command prompt and in order to verify that our device has been connected successfully, we have to write a command here which says fast boot devices. Now it is showing our device code. This means our device is successfully connected in fast boot mode. So now we have to boot with TWRP. So the command which we have to write is fast boot boot 
and the path of the TWRP file. Which is this. And hit enter. So now once we hit enter, we have to switch back to our MIA2 device and then we have to continue from there. And here you can see the TWRP has been booted. So as this is a Android upgrade RAM, so we have to do a clean flash. This means we have to wipe up the system partition, the data partition, resulting in removal of all the user data. So I must say that you should keep your data successfully backed up before proceeding. So here we have to first wipe and we'll say advanced wipe and here we select Dalvik system cache and data and we'll say yes. So this will remove all these storages and the flash will become a clean flash means everything will start from scratch so now the wiping is completed and we'll say back now it's time to install the pixel experience android 10 rom we'll go to install and here is the file which we have already copied from the system to our Android internal memory. So we'll select this ROM and we'll skip this reboot after installation is complete just in case if we have to do something additional. So we'll say confirm to flash. So as this is a big ROM, which actually contains the Android upgrade as well, it might take some time. It finally says done. This means the ROM has been successfully installed. So now we'll just clean the cache. So now we'll go to reboot. And as in MIA2, the flashing of the ROM will happen on the inactive slot. So currently you can see the current slot active is A. So we have to switch to slot B and then reboot to the system. So now it should boot from the Pixel Experience Android 10 ROM. And there you see guys. The ROM is, is starting now. Thumbs up. So now you can see the flash has been completed. And we can just now click start. So it's asking for a connection to a mobile network. I'll skip this. Asking to connect to Wi-Fi. For the time being, I'll skip this. But in case if you want, you can continue for the setup. So there you see guys, the ROM has been installed successfully. So I'll quickly go to settings just to verify everything. So here we can see it says Android version 10. So it has December security patch and Android is 10.
So this is so cool guys. I will make the full in-depth review of this Pixel Experience ROM in another video. Till then, enjoy. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.